Hello everybody, Robert Marzullo here, and I've got a picture of my character Blackstone. Uh, this is a pinup page, possibly a cover, but more than likely just a pinup. Uh, I wanted to do a digital color on this, and I'm not a very strong color artist, but uh, I figure I'll give it a shot and let you see how it comes out. I'm traditionally uh, pencil, pencil ink, so um, what I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to do some flats, lay in all my flat colors, and then I'll... Um, and I'll speed progress to that point, uh, then I'll stop, kind of go over what I'm, my ideas are, and then I'll start doing the shading, fading, and uh, that'll also be time lapse, so we can do, move through this relatively quick. So uh, here we go, let's get started. Okay, so there's the uh, flats. We got those inlaid, and uh, I don't know if you noticed, but you know some of it I painted uh, with a solid brush. Other parts I selected and filled in, just kind of if I got bored doing one or the other. Both work, and you just want to make sure that the color seeps behind and is filled behind the uh, black line work. That's important for coloring. Um, not typically in the way that I'm going to use it. I do a lot of my own uh, digital printing. And I, I don't know, it doesn't matter for me, but when it comes to comic book production and separations, it does matter. So um, just keep that in mind if you happen to be fortunate enough to do some color work. Um, because it's, it's very expensive, so I traditionally am more black and white, and then I just do my color stuff in the way of prints and, you know, um, posters and banners and things like that. So okay so we got the flats in now I'm gonna go in and try to start building in some highlights um, you know I'll take each uh, each color I did also separate these as layers also so I got a couple different ways to select and edit what I'm doing if I don't like something I can kinda of back out of it and you know uh, migrate to something else or whatever so uh, let's go ahead and give this a, a try and see what we can come up with and I'll go ahead and time lapse it again so that you don't have to uh, sit here and watch the whole thing in regular speed. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh, and by the way, I left the, the glove and the smoke white because I'm probably just going to drop in bits of gray for shadowing, blend them, and call it good. So just so you, you know, I didn't forget to color those. I'm actually, there's a method to my uh, madness there. So, okay, stay tuned and uh, let's move forward. All right, so there we have it. This is the final uh, piece. Um, you know, I'm semi-satisfied with it. Like I said, I'm not a uh, proficient color artist, but uh, I think I was able to do decent on this one. At least get it, uh, you know, semi-close to what I was looking for. Um, if you notice, I basically drew in uh, kind of cell shading, where you kind of, I did a little bit of blending, but not much. So basically I started off with each color that I was looking to do. Uh, staged it down a little bit lighter 
uh, on each area and that's kind of what cell shading is and then at the end I would blend the overall area and I've seen people do this uh, both directions you know um, and I did a little bit of airbrush stuff but not much uh, mainly was going more for a traditional comic book style and then uh, oh yeah and then I created this little layer for the gun the highlight kind of a little finishing touch there um, that was real easy to do just clicked around and then did a fade in there so yeah there it is so be sure to check out uh, Blackstone uh, the comic name is Blackstone Eternal uh, book ones and uh, the works right now to be printed and uh, hopefully digital downloads stuff like that I'll keep you posted on here you can also follow more of it on ramstudios1.deviantart and this is Robert Marzullo and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and it was helpful uh, let me know and be sure to subscribe and like and share and all that good stuff and more to come thanks very much for watching and uh, have a good one bye bye